Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! Alright, there has been a lot going on here with this event, so let's get some recapping going on. We are in jail because the King of Ring doesn't trust us. He knows we are destined to end the world. He also knows that we don't want to end the world, but he doesn't want to take any chances. You can kind of blame the guy call for that, especially Saul. Meanwhile, Lady Bitari, who runs a nearby country, wants to start a war with this country, all in an effort to coax the Gaiken into appearing and basically wiping everything out. So that's kind of not good. Now whether we'll be able to resolve that conflict right now today, I'm not sure. Really, the only good news is that the Queen of Ring is on our side and was kind of nice enough to open up our jail cell. Unlock it, rather. Also, there was an explosion just a little bit ago. We should kind of find out what is going on with that. There. Dang kid forgot to board it all back up. No more issues now, though. Captain Heldon is back in business. Really need to figure out what I'm doing. Warg! You there. You ain't in prison, are ya? No. Finally. It's clear. Not a prison. Just a hole. Sorry for busting in. We have wounded. Mind if we use your bed there? Uh, be my guest, I suppose. Thanks. So, uh, quite the crew you have here. Do you know where we are? Came all this way without knowing you're beneath ring? Strange was digging with the intent to get here. We're in ring? Ugh, I've come full circle once more. Do you know which district? Uh. Do I even need to ask? All of you wait here. Now what in the world caused... Oh. As planned, Vimura. Remember our bargain, mortal. You're up. Oh, puns. Captain, have the rest scatter throughout the city. I want the trier to respond in full. Yes, sir. And have the great uniter join me at the tower. The Great Uniter being the King of Ring. Dang. Well, what was it? I'll explain along the way. For now, Garen, you're coming with me, and... Whatever your name is. Ugh, just call me Lou for crying out loud. Right. Okay, Lou. One final request for you. Take Vincent and Jaren and get out of the city once it's cleared. If Jaren can hold out, wait up for us. Otherwise, head to Hyola. Fine, fine. But last favor. Well, the plot is certainly thickening. I guess we're not talking with any of these folks. Why is there a chicken with a bookshelf? Whatever, this is a weird game. Ow! Good job. You've brutally murdered the guy we're supposed to be saving. What? Aren't you at least a little concerned that I just completely eviscerated him? He's not even dead. See? He's alive. 
manslaughter. <laughs> I, I can't get through doors? Somehow I find that funny even though I'm not entirely sure what he means. Oh yeah, I know what he means. Mom told us everything. She told us everything so we came to break you out of prison. Now we can start a riot. Riot all you want. I'm going to do it stealthily. He's already out, idiot. But then you killed him. For the last time, he's not dead. Perrin, we need to get out of here quickly. During our infiltration of the castle, a ton of these armored guys just suddenly started attacking the guards. Ring is under attack! Well, I know it's not the mercen... Well, I suppose it is the mercenaries. Kind of. The mercenaries? I don't know. But we need to move. Quest will join your party. And Zimul join. And the sheep has joined. Can I equip any of them? Possibly. Yeah, looking like it. Hey, there's the thing I was looking for before. Oh, I need to take the time to sort equipment if they're going to be fighting, aren't I? Well, it's mostly simple to deal with. Oh, Quetzal is already equipped. So that's good. And the sheep can't equip anything. So, the blue right is what I was looking for earlier for recovering mana. That is a very useful thing to have. Also, hello, Orgaya. Welcome to the stream. We're making our escape now. And something tell me is going to be exciting. The coal rod. Disgusting. I see you've taken this opportunity to free yourself from justice. Yep, this is Sol. Now I'm really sick of you. Fortunately, the feeling is mutual. It ends here, Perrin. No, no it doesn't. I apologize for my tardiness. Too many things happened all at once for me to react appropriately. Stay out of this. This doesn't concern you. It does. And you chose a poor day to be ordering me around. I've been denied most of the time we've been in this city. Yeah, let's take this guy out and save Ring. No. What? He is not going to be alone. I assume the rest of the guy call will appear as backup, and such a fight will take too long. You two need to get Perrin back to Mitoma before the fight between the Trier and the mercenaries envelops too much of the city. But... I agree. We need to get to Mom as fast as possible. She has a plan. You are not taking this away from me. Well, that's a handy spell. He coughs. Dang. Old age again. Probably shouldn't keep doing that. Well, all of you get out of here. Trust me. I got this. Right. Good luck. You'd better come back. Just go. That was a mistake. I'm just going to pursue him. Ah, I guess we're late. Oh well. I'm not entirely sure whether these guys are good guys or bad guys here, but I'm pretty sure they're bad. Hello, Drake. I assume you have something for me. Like the wolves.
It's too bad we haven't seen these uh, mystical persons in a while. It's kind of hard to recap who they are. They kind of helped me out earlier, but I have a feeling that they're also interested in using me to end the world. Wait, what? Perrin? What are you doing here? You're supposed to be in Hyola. I was. What happened? Where's Drake? He's back that way. He's taking on the guy Cole and some winged freak. What? The guy Cole are here too? What in the world is going on? We were hoping you'd tell us. Garen? On it. I'm assuming you were trying to leap over us. Some guy with an eye patch brought, brought a ton of these armored guys into ring and is having them attack the trier. Um. I, well, I can't remember his name, so I'm not going to say his name. I need my sword. Was it taken away when you were arrested? They arrested you? Doesn't matter. Any confiscated weapon would most likely be taken to the armory on the second floor. You must find this eye patch guy. He's planning to kidnap the king and take him to the highest tower in the castle. I need to go help Garen and Drake. Perrin? We'll rescue him. We've been rescuing people all day. Thank you. Now go. And when you've secured the king, get out of the city as fast as you can. Our rendezvous is Hyola. Yeah, things are definitely getting exciting here. You're probably trying to attack me, so I'm just going to not. Oh, hold on a sec. Let's uh, rethink this situation. Okay, fine. If you really want to attack me, attack them instead. Because I'm kind of... Oh, wait, I have other weapons. Derp. Give me my flail. In fact, there's a mole instead of this magic staff. Or maybe... Yeah. You have that. This should be fun. I'm not entirely sure whether we're properly fo following instructions here, but here's hoping. There's a lot going on, and I am terrible at following instructions. Of course, that's locked. Well, this is obviously not where we're supposed to go. Oh, there are more stairs up, though. Um, do I do I really want to be in there? I'm saving just in case. What's this? Wow, you again! You need to get out of here. Nuh uh no way. A warrior never runs from a fight. Despite your lack of good faith in other human beings. I've decided to move past you and do things for myself. Uh, princess? Hey! No! I want to do this! Leave me alone! She turns her stare at you with a stern yet inquisitive eye. She seems to want to know what you know. Take her to Iola. Without hesitation, she nods. No! What are you doing? Put me down! Man, the princess and me are so not going to be friends. Hey, I found it! She was trying to swipe my sword! Okay, I like the flail more, but in a time like this, I'm taking the absent. Uh, read that. Read that. Thank goodness. What's further up, out of curiosity? 
Oh. Don't take it personally, Daphnis. You were only ever part of the cog. Package received. Is he dead? Yes. He was insignificant. I only need his body to prove a point once the coal rod arrives. Is he on course? Should be a few minutes. He's going to resist you. There was always an inevitability. We both knew this when we formed this plan. Right now, we just need to stick with what to what we rehearsed. Mm-hmm. Speaking of, how did you figure out how to open this? I was shown. Ah. Uh. So, Vincent's elusive package. Want to tell me what's in it now? I was told it's called the Mine Medallion. Now then, time to let the people know. Zamul, what's wrong? Why have we stopped? I don't know. Something feels. Fellow citizens of Ring. My name is Varkin. I am the one leading the attack against your home city. Do not be alarmed. As you can plainly see, my soldiers are only attacking the Trier. This was to ensure that every soldier would be seen in the public eye. As you are watching though, you will notice that the fighting has ceased. This is because the Trier and the mercenaries are being fused into a single force. The power that is being used to speak to you all is the same power that is being used to command these forces. Why is this being done, you might ask? Well, the answer is simple. It is because it's necessary. Oh, uh, there's, um... Lady Batari. You know... I thought she was going to be a whole lot more important to this particular plot. For far too long, police's leaders have driven this world into the mud, using us to keep them dry. With the combined forces of the Trier and my mercenaries, I plan on uniting our people with the Yurak of Yurateth. The only ones that must worry are these leaders and the uniters that have sided with them. For the latter, they will be treated fairly. Should they comply to the terms of the people, they will be spared. Otherwise, they will be terminated. Really wish I had went to the floating island first. When all is said and done, the world will be united. You may ask, why is this necessary? I will tell you. Because we will need to be united. The Gaiken are coming, and we must, I repeat, must fight back. I am simply forcing everyone to act. How was he able to... I don't know. But did you hear what he said about the Uniters? Yeah. Mom's in danger. What can they possibly do against her? There's no way... The psychopath just entered every mine in the city and possibly managed to control the entire Trier. As powerful as he, she is, she needs help against something like this. So you're saying... I'm sorry, I think we're needed elsewhere. 
I hate to admit it, but I think Zamul is right. I'm so sorry, Perrin. No, I, I, honestly, I want to go help them. I have an idea. Take Az with you. I promise, Perrin. The moment we know Mom is safe, we'll come find you. All five of us will kick Varkin's ass. I assume I got all my stuff back. I don't know if I can actually go back and help them. Apparently not. Darn it! Now I really wish I had went to the island first. Well, decisions were made. Let's hope it wasn't the wrong one. I'm guessing you got my message. Colrod Perrin, I am on your side. You of all people must understand the state of the world right now. You've seen the ones that were left in charge of it. Did any of these so-called leaders strike you as people who deserve such a position? Have any of their policies or philosophies helped better our cultures in any way? The answer is no. They have not. They have been playing their pitiful games with us for far too long. They've given rise to the Aquans, Acolytes, Gaikol... And soon, Arkan's Legion will bring the Gaiken in, whether you, the Kolrod, allow it or not. So again, I stress, I am not your enemy. I am your ally in this war. But you were working with part of Arkan's Legion. The Flame Guy's one of them. To recap, Arkan is a guy who... Thought he was going to be the coal rod, the guy who would end the world, and he had the religion to help him. Except I think Arkin wanted to not end the world. Uh, I don't know, I lost track. Let me join you, and we can win this together. You will have the whole of the trier and my mercenaries on your side. I don't believe you. Is it because of him? He is obsolete. So Naya and Batari chewed him up and spat him out. He is dead, but no, he died peacefully. It was I who made the decision. His corpse can serve a better purpose than to be used as a living puppet. You've heard me out. I no longer wish to give you long lectures on politics and the state of the world. You know how it is. Please, tell me, are you willing to form this alliance? I don't know, you, you seem like kind of a jerk. Also... I mentioned before how my decisions would possibly affect things, and I saw that one of the spoilers in the guide mentions that sort of thing. The king dying is what I saw. So apparently a decision at some point in the game could have resulted in his life being spared. Anyway, screw you. Were it so easy? Uh, 
Oh, hi Fury. I had a feeling that I would be seeing you again at some point. And you've run your course, Varkin. He was forgettable anyway. <laughs> Wondering how I did it? Fury tosses you a disc. You recognize it as an expansion disc. Only the color white this time. That's a teleport thing. And apparently one of the strongest one according to my list. Figure it out yet? Flashback time. This is the Royal King's Signet. Supposedly a symbol of office. Purely decorative, of course. What? Why would something like that be all the way out here? It isn't, like, something the king needs to be in power, is it? Where did you get that ridiculous notion? I don't know. Why else would Fury want it? It is most likely useless to speculate. Fury wasn't exactly the most sophisticated intellectual, if you catch my meaning. Past tense? Well, I doubt any of them survived that. Why are we having these flashbacks without displaying any characters? As you know already, the black disc you used fit into one of these pedestals. It, like the rest, are known as expansion discs. I created them at Batari's request, but I have deemed them too powerful to use. So then why do those mercenaries have the black one? Beats me. Luckily, it was just a black one, though. Each pedestal was created to form a sort of invisible circle, and when a hexagram made the, from the same material is placed within that circle, one can teleport to it. The discs are meant to increase the radius of the circle, in order from smallest to largest, black, red, blue, green, purple, white, and gray. Um, Orgaya says the lack of characters is a stylistic choice, since a few of these only had parent on screen without companions. Well, then I kind of question why the companions weren't on screen. But whatever. It's a ring fastened to a necklace. That it is. It is the symbol of the royal succession, the hexagram. I am unfamiliar with it. It undoubtedly belongs to us, so it could possibly be one of my daughter's trinkets. Where did you find this? Perrin found it beneath Lake Varus. He led an assault against the Acolytes after they attempted to form an alliance with the Gaikal. It would appear they were after it. Phase 1 get known. Phase 2, make you want to get the trinket. Phase 3, use it to get here. Simple. Now, it's time I sent you to Dark Isle to fulfill your purpose. Er, the Bridge of Absence, as you are all fond of calling it. Poetic, I suppose. Sadly, this means I need to kill you. Sorry, I guess. Um, not a- not really- oh. Well, first things first. If I could just hurry up and- uh, you know what? 
Come here, you. Okay, got one. Now, maybe I can get you. Um... Well, in case anybody was wondering, the stairs are not an option. How about a little bit of this? Hmm. It was inevitable. Now, stand still. I'd ask how you got here, but I seem to recall you from the volcano. Hmm. That should be enough. I'll be waiting for you, Perrin. This certainly is the perfect spot to summon Apocalypse. Hyola. Varkin handed you an army. Fury took it away. You chose a noble sacrifice. Zarnaya so replaced it with liberty in exchange for Batari's death. It was all for nothing. Uh, so I spent like the past 10 minutes trying to figure out the best time for an episode break. We're going on an episode break.